I've always loved um, facsimiles or like reproductions of things, sometimes more than the real thing itself. Well, I was having an exhibition in Dublin and a friend was good friends with, with Sebastian Guinness who had the gallery. I said, you know, I have this wax museum and would you like to come see it? It's recently been vandalized, but you, know, you, you, you might want to see it, it's kind of cool. I didn't think our, you know, anything other than that we were just going to go look at it, but when I saw the, the heads and some of them had been smashed um, in these boxes, I just knew right away that I, was, I wanted to photograph them. If you want to be the best, you got to move and motivate. I think that David has been dealing with art history in a very, very specific way. I mean, famous or recognizable in some way, and they've all been uh, discarded in some way, and there's just something that you can't really describe about these things, but the scale and the precision uh, and the horror of these are very shocking and it's, it's real portraiture and it has to do with, uh, they're really like time maps in a way also. So the victims and the heroes are unendingly kind of uh, stuck in the public. We love beautiful examples of our humanity on, on the big screen. We like looking at that as human beings. And then when people get older, you know, now we're in this weird time where, where tabloid uh, publications are sort of dominant. A lot of that content is, you know, bad pictures of these once people we, we adored and loved um, who are getting older, who are aging. It really makes us question our values as a society. Why do we enjoy? bringing someone up and loving them and sort of enjoy the, the spectacle of their downfall. Well, I think the new work is really exciting because it's an obvious departure and progression for him, uh, taking the idea of archetype and taking a new approach to it. I mean, we are all familiar with how he's used celebrity and contemporary culture as archetype and now in the recent work looking at um, these religious icons and images of the still lives of flowers and the Dutch Baroque era being reinterpreted through his super pop culture gaze is, is super exciting and interesting. It says a lot about celebrity, I guess, and how people secretly feel about it. So he's not representing something, he's just showing something. This is another way of doing it with the kind of uh, technique that uh, I think solely belongs to David. And uh, I find them very powerful.